Hey everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Ever Music. It has been a couple of weeks since the video and I do apologize. This has been by far the busiest, most hectic year already I have ever had. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some time and show and explain to you what is going on, why am I so busy, um, You know what we're doing at the moment, what's coming up, all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna use hopefully some diagrams that make sense and work. Uh, let's check out them now. Okay, everyone, so I thought what I'd do is try and show you exactly what's going on this, this year. So this year, the biggest thing happened is I joined, uh, I started a master's course. So it's so much fun, I'm learning so much, but it is very hectic, so it's a master's course in teaching. So how to become the best possible teacher that I can be. So before I've done a diploma, an advanced diploma, a bachelor degree, now I'm at the level of a master's, which is one level below sort of a PhD or a doctorate. It just makes me the best possible teacher I can be. And again, opens more sort of job opportunities. So if we have a normal week as listed here, right, you're probably wondering, hey, Pat, why does it start at 5am in the morning and midday and midnight? Generally, try and get to sleep by midnight. Generally try and wake up by five in the morning and midday sort of separates the two a little bit like that. Hopefully it makes sense. So anyway, we'll go through. So every morning I wake up at five in the morning and I go for a run and I'll do some gym. That's just how I sort of start my day. I won't put that in because that's sort of just at the very, very start of the day. But what I have been doing with the course is I have no longer any time to do any private teaching and you'll soon see why. So let's write down the course day. So the days that I have to go into university, okay? So let's say the course days start at about seven in the morning, right? So you start from seven in the morning on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and they go all the way up to 5 p.m. So it's pretty much like a nine to five, like a normal job, right? So those times are all taken up with with uni. So I need to leave at 7 a.m. in order to get into school by 9 a.m. So all of that time is taken, okay? Now, unfortunately, I wish I was in a position where I lived at home or I lived with my parents or someone could back me financially, but sadly I'm not. So what that means is I have to work. So my other job that I've got, unfortunately, with no time to do private teaching, is I'm going back to my backup of working at an ambulance as an ambulance dispatcher. So again, that starts at seven in the morning. So realistically, I need to leave by six and then it goes all the way till about three o'clock. Three to four o'clock, so it's a little bit shorter than the uni days. But again, that's Saturday and Sunday. Now, most of the time I actually pick up an extra shift, I would say most weeks. So just before, well, just after uni finishes, I then go to work as an ambulance dispatcher on Friday nights as well. So as you can see, Friday is completely done. Work out in the morning, then go to university, and then work at the ambulance. Then immediately after that, I've got work Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Okay, but you're probably thinking, Pat, you've still got all of Monday and Tuesday. What's going on there? Okay, so let's get out another color. So Monday and Tuesday, every single week, I do placement. So what that means is, I go into a primary school, I do different classes, I teach different things, I learn different things, I make observations. After school, I stay behind and go to the meetings. And again, that means I need to leave at about seven in the morning and I get back home at about five o'clock, sometimes six o'clock. So again, that's sort of taken out. And then you're still probably thinking, well, you've still got all these chunks of time here, yeah? By the time I sort of get back, most days it's about six or seven o'clock which is fine, okay? But all of this time here and here and here and here, all of that time just before I go to bed, like in those sort of couple of hours, and here as well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, is all spent doing readings because I've got six subjects and each subject has about an hour and a half of readings that I have to do before the class. So then I do all my readings before all the classes. Then once those readings are done, I hope I've got another color, there's assignments due every single week. Like this week, I just finished a 2000 word essay that's due um, you know, the next couple of days and it's worth 50%. So once the readings are done, I then need to go back and work on assignments. So realistically, the only time I have free is Saturday, Sunday. So Sunday, I normally take you know an hour or two to myself and just relax and then I'll go see family because that's so important. And then when I come home again, I'll do more study. And Saturday, that's the one time really where I've got off the entire week. And that's where I see 
my amazing girlfriend. So if all of that made sense, that's the timetable that I'm working with every week. The only time I have off is Saturdays to spend with my girlfriend and Sundays. So it doesn't work. There's way too much going on there. So something's got to give, something's not right. So that's what I'm trying to work out at the moment. I'm trying to fix this schedule because it is bogus and it is not working. So hopefully now you can see that just there's just absolutely no time for anything. It's the worst. It has to go. So as you can see, guys, it's definitely not that I'm being lazy. There is just not enough hours in the day. So trying to rework my schedule and find out better time frames for everything so I can shoot more video. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. All of the next videos that are coming out are gonna be videos that you guys requested, um, that you wanted to get better at, everything from finger picking and technique and building your own schedules and times. Every video that's gonna come out is gonna be related to that. So that's really, really exciting. I still have a bunch of products, so many products that I need to go through and review, but they take a lot of time as well. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. In the middle of the year, I have five weeks off. Normally, if I have one day off, I can shoot enough videos and edit enough videos for two months. So with five weeks off, so many videos. That can be the rest of the year if I wanted it to be, if I had time. So that's the plan, that's what we're gonna do. But just wanted to say hello, ask how you are. Have you had a busy year too? Have you done something like what I'm doing before? Comment below guys, I miss hearing from you guys. Hope everyone's all right, I'll see you all again.